I'm Jamie and welcome back to my studio. Today we're going to be checking out bass strings from GHS. Bass boomers. Okay, boomer. <laughs> boomers are nickel plated steel strings around a hex core. What does that mean? I really don't know because if you've seen any of my videos, you know that actually I only care about one thing and that is... Who the hell cares? What's it sound like? All right, now these strings are supposed to be kind of like on the brighter side of mellow. Excellent! I guess, whatever that means. So I figured actually this would be a great song to try out because it's rock-ish. It's upbeat and this Schecter bass definitely is bright enough and I played it with a, a pretty soft touch. So there's lots of fundamental and plenty of zing and brightness without being like overly sharp. So let's pull in the rest of the band. See what it sounds like. guys we got a lot to learn about different types of rocks so this bass is being played in drop c tuning and i don't know what you're hearing but i definitely think that there's enough top end however it's not quite rock enough. I gotta have more cowbell, baby. So let's have a little bit of fun. I'm gonna mic up this little stack of speakers over here, the Phil Jones bass, BG120, and two of those C2 cabs. And let's see if we can't get this tone to be a little bit more in your face. Now this is actually really close to how the song was originally recorded. I played a J bass, neck pickup was soloed up, and GHS bass boomers. Okay, okay, boomer. Why? Because they're mellow enough that I could leave the tone knob up 100% and it wouldn't be like overly bright. So let's do this. I'm gonna throw on a new plugin. I haven't tried this before. It's the Hitsville EQ from Universal Audio. And I just wanna see if I can inject just a little bit of vintage mojo into this bass. I have his mojo. They told me, gotta clean my act up and be.
that's what the GHS bass boomers sound like. And if you like what you hear, you want to get a set for yourself, please just click on any of those links in the description. Now, yes, I get a very small commission out of it. So thanks in advance for helping to support the channel. Right. Make sure you check the description for links to other videos that I did using all the gear you saw me play today. And remember that isolated bass and complete performances for everything you heard today is over on Patreon. And speaking of which, thank you to my wonderful patrons, in particular these names right here. Make sure you like and subscribe, turn on those notifications, and go buy some merch. Or just come support the show on Patreon. Thank you so much for watching. Stay well. I'll see you next time.